What is up, you guys? I am back here at the flea market. Haley's not with me today. Our church is having a yard sale, uh, and she's volunteering to help with that. So we might run and go check on her later, see if there's any yard sale leftovers that we could snag and and uh, do something with those. But for right now, we're gonna head to the flea market, see if we can find anything out here to find and flip for profit. Oh, dogs, that's kind of cool. Yeah, you know, Brian, I got another one. It's a motorcycle lot. I got another one somewhere in my book bag. Yeah, okay. How much are your hats? Uh, five. I'll do three on them though. Two bucks a piece. You got change for a 20, dude. I do not. Uh, I got three dollars for the hat yeah. though. You work. Thank you, sir. Yep. Appreciate you. You got change for a 20. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are y'all? Good, good, good. Flushes. By yourself today? By myself today. Haley's at our, our church is having a yard sale today oh, okay. and she's. <laughs> She's volunteering there. Did you get the snowboard at the bins? Oh yeah, yeah. It's crazy. That place sells a little bit everything. If only we needed snowboards here. <laughs> Hello. I brought my kids sent me a box and I wasn't sure if you wanted to go through it first. Sure, yeah. This is my old Northeast Okay. Had to go to that one. Did you put some of the stuff in your on your shelf? Well, it's hard to put jackets on the shelf, yeah. I guess. Yeah. And then I have this Patagonia jacket. Yeah, that's a cool color. Um, I know that one. But that, I think it's like a company. I don't know. My kid threw it in there. Yeah. Um, they sent me these. Columbia Nike shoes. They sent me these. These are brand Nikos. new. They sent me the Nikes. They have good taste. <laughs> they sent me... These, I don't even know what these are. I think it's just the two jackets and the chacos. Okay. What do you got on those? Uh, you tell me. <laughs> you know, I, you put I it, just... Put like, it back on me. Yeah, this is a... Is the Patagonia a kids or a women's? Uh, no, it's mine. It's women's. Oh, okay. Uh, like 30? Okay. Do you got $10 on you? Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks, dear. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. You want it back? No, I'll just throw it in here. Okay. Uh, you know about pianos? Nope. I got that one here. It's got the book and everything to it. It's never been used. Oh, the little. Yeah, it's got the it's got the book and everything in it, babe. It's like one of the electronic ones. Yeah. Piano learning system. It's got the thing still sealed. What you want for it? Ten. Okay. That's what I got in. It's ten dollars. What I got in. It's worth sure. it's worth about sixty seventy bucks. Yes, it's right here. I'll give you ten bucks right. for it. Talk me into it. All right. Thanks, sir. Like it? Yeah. This one, Mickey. Mickey sending all. Quanto cuesta? Es de ayer. Twelve. Twelve. You do ten for this one. Yes. Yeah, okay. Thank you. It's gonna pull that. I like that. Quanto cuesta? 15. 15? I'm gonna get this hat for personal use because I really like it. Let's see if I got a little $5 item I can bundle in here. Omar. Omar the beaver or bear? He's cute. But he did these two for 20? Oh, there you go. 20 for these two? Yeah? Okay. Thank you. There's a lot of different vendors out here that sell like hats and Yeti tumblers and, and cool stuff like that, but their prices are a little high. So we don't usually buy them to flip. Like $15 for a hat is too much to pay to flip. But for personal use, that's a pretty good deal. I mean, the retail on this is uh, $28. So almost half price. And I love these under, this is a large, extra large stretch fit hat. It's one of my favorite, favorite hats. So nice little personal grab. I guess we're a little early today. A lot of people have tables reserved, but they're not setting stuff up yet. What's up, Josh? What's up? I watch on YouTube all the time. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I can do two and eight. 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 Two
Uh, just games. This <laughs> and one controller. So yeah. this okay. is all still available. Okay. Yeah. So you got the good stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, I sell whatnot. I sell video games. Yeah. Yeah. That's my one category. <laughs> we got on these uh, Star Wars figures over here. Uh, I got. I'll do seven piece. And the Spider-Man? Yeah. Both of these? Uh, ten. Ten right, cool. for each of these. Ten and four. Anyway, you do 40 for all this right here? The five Star Wars and two Spider-Man? 45. Um, if I do 45, will you throw in one of the Transformers gift cards? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll do that. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah. Appreciate it. You want a box? Uh, no, I'll just throw it away again. Uh, Appreciate the deal. Yeah. Two dollars? How much? Fifty bucks. Can't say no for two dollars. Just for walking, just a bit. Yeah. <laughs> So these are two dollars too, or yeah, just yeah. yeah. All right, I'll give you five yeah. for those these two. You sure? Yeah, yeah, for oh, sure. Oh, thank you. Of course. Yeah. Oh, thank you, dear. Yeah. You want a bag? Nope, I just put them in here. Oh, okay. You're a designer, no? You're a designer. Yeah, Reebok. Yeah, these are good. Huh? These are good. Thank you. You can have this one. Yeah. That's okay. That one's got a hole in the back, so I can't do anything with that. Oh, you can do. Oh, is it? On the heel right here. Where? This, this one. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, I'll throw them away. Yeah. Thank uh, you. You can use it for walking. I don't. Wait. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not stealing it. You? Okay. Thank you. Thank Just, you. You know, you when you walk. That's right. You use it for walking. That's right. I'll walk in them. Yeah. Thank you. How you been? Very good. How have you been? I'm doing good. I got lots, 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 lots and lots. Ends fifteen. Yeah, usually hold the guineas, but I let you have for ten dollars. How about it? Ten dollars. Yeah. That's so a you pretty sale, right? That's a pretty good deal, yeah. Um that one and that one is a uh a return about it. Okay. So whatever you pick it out, I'll give you a great deal. I think maybe just these two. Alright. What do you got on those? How about you do thirty dollars for four? Thirty for both? Yeah. $15 each. Yeah. I'll do that. You got 10 bucks on you? Uh, I'm not sure. I just call. Maybe. You got any 10? No. I'll tell you, I'll just. These were 10? Yeah. Okay. I'll just do these then. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. But you know that I sell a whole lot more, you know that, right? Yes. We always I appreciate it. You sell for a whole lot more than what I sell. You give us the special discount, the yeah. grand grandson discount, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I sell to you what I pay for. Well, we appreciate it. Oh, these are okay. good stuff. All right. Thank you so much. Come back. I got a lot more. I can pick it up. Okay. Nothing on that last row. So we're gonna head back down the first row. See if anybody put out anything new, or see if we missed anything on the first row round. Look at this little thing. Bubble Watson edition. I have a teeny backpack. To me backpack? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh yeah. Do we have a one of our old neighbors? She's a seamstress, and I've given her two Toomeys to fix in the past. What was wrong with that? Just. Uh, I think it's the strap. Uh, yeah, that's the strap. Oh, that. No. Okay. Yeah. That part. Hmm. I think that's the that, and then I think that just needs to be restitched. That was like a loop there, to like hang oh, okay, it or something. Okay. I haven't looked at it. Yeah. What do you want for the two me? It's whatever. Maybe I just, I don't, hard. it's either, I don't know. I figured I'd probably have to pay her at least like 20, 30 bucks to fix it. But if it looks good, I will, we could probably sell it. So. Yeah. And I haven't seen one like this. I haven't either. Yeah. The leather seems to be in good shape. Yeah. Um, I trust you. Um, we're suckers, so you probably make way more by trusting us. Um, so 
So I got three hats, the Tumi and then the Vera. Okay. Would you pay 40 for everything? Right. Okay. Cool. I feel like that's that's fair. Yeah. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? I've seen you in a long time. It's been a while. Gaylord. I watched uh, Chris, your Chris. Last night. Yeah. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. Out here wheeling and dealing. We're the guy. You were doing some clothes with Haley. Yeah. And uh, the guy went up on the price where you took a piece yeah, out. He's, he's out he's yeah, yeah. out here again today. That was kind of funny. I was trying to figure that out too. It was like, okay, it was like 80 something. You took it out, it was like 65 or something. You know, if, if he wouldn't have given me like the price, he was like, there's 15 on that, 15 right, on right, that, right. 10 on this. Yeah, he if gave he me specific those, prices on everything, right. I wouldn't have questioned that. I was like, right. well, you just said this is and 15. And what's so amazing, man, is that you're good with math like that. You did not allow that. Oh, I edited it out like yeah. five minutes. I had to take off my shoes and count on my toes. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes if they're as long as it like we don't do like just the bears like plain bears but if it's like a unique something some of them are like there's like a halloween cat or something sells for like 200 bucks Jesus, like the, are you kidding the more like some of them they'll release for like just this month this one year you know uh -huh. this is a, a little beaver or no a walrus more the weirder the animal the better it is <laughs> Do twenty dollars for this Vera and those plush. This is brand new too. I don't know if you want to get it. You're looking. You can just take it with that stuff too. Okay, I'll yeah. do that. Okay. Thank you. Hi, thank you. Appreciate it. I didn't go down to the other side of the first row again, but I think we have a whole wagon, and that is enough for one day. Got to go home and sell this stuff. So a fairly solid morning at the flea market today. Nothing too crazy, I don't think. A lot of solid bread and butter items that should sell for us pretty quickly. Make a nice little bit of profit so we can put that towards the house flip. But I do want to take a quick second while I'm here pumping gas to remind you guys about the sponsor of today's video, which is the Upside app. I've actually been using this app since 2019, I think. And it basically just allows you to find offers near you at gas stations, convenience stores, and restaurants. I'm actually at a Circle K right now that is offering 32, per, 32 cents cash back on per gallon on regular gas. So I'm definitely going to take advantage of that. There are actually over 100,000 locations, you know, gas stations, convenience stores, uh, restaurants on the Upside app. So no matter where you live, you can pretty much always find an offer near you. My favorite part about the app is that it is 100% free. There's no cost at all. It's not like a credit card where you have to get the card and then get cash back and all that stuff. It's just 100% pure cash back. You pull up uh, the map on the app once you download it and it'll show you all of the offers in your area, either at convenience stores, gas stations, or restaurants. You just select which one you want. Like today, I, I selected the Circle K and then you buy it using a debit or credit card on your on your app uh, and then you redeem the rewards. Pretty, pretty straightforward. I don't think it gets any more simple than that. And just like that, I'm done. I don't know exactly how much I got back because it usually takes like 24 hours to process it, but we got 28 cents per gallon and I got 18.128 gallons. So what's 18 times 28? $5 and four cents. That's that's literally like a free $5. I could take that into the Circle K right now and get a free snack. I used to be kind of hesitant on these cashback apps because I thought it just wasn't enough money to really make a huge difference. But just seeing today, I mean, $5 and one tank of gas, if you get one tank a week and you get $5 a week, I mean, that adds up very quickly. The top earners on Upside are earning up to $300 a month. And I know it's not gonna make you a millionaire, but an extra 300 bucks a month is pretty, pretty good for buying stuff that you're already gonna buy anyway. Fast forward to the very next day, Mose and I are hanging out in the yard. It's a little rainy today. It's the Thursday of the Masters. I think the, the first round might be postponed today. But I did want to let you guys know that I got the money deposited into our Upside account. It takes you know less than 24 hours, and we actually got $5.08. Now we can cash that out directly to our bank account and use it for whatever we want. So if you guys want to support our YouTube channel and help us in a way that is $0 cost you and you actually make money, definitely click the link in the description of the video down below. Download the Upside app and use code Harry, H-A-I-R-Y, or you can scan the QR code on the screen here and do the exact same thing. Thanks again to Upside for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to the flip house. So I didn't end up going to the churchyard sale where Haley is at the moment, but I decided to bring Moe's over to the flip house for the first time. Uh, and I don't think he likes Beano and milkshake <laughs> very much. He's just kind of hanging out over here. He's got his ears back. He doesn't want to walk in the yard because I think mainly milkshake is just loses his mind. Beano is kind of always like that. Guys, it's fine. I came over here yesterday, I think, and finished a little bit more of the flooring in the kitchen. I've just got that left to go over there. We have to replace the outlet behind the oven because 
our electrician had reused the old outlet and we can't find a cord to put on this oven that fits in that outlet. So we're just gonna change the outlet. We got the sink installed. You guys see that over there? It's fully functional. I can't zoom in. Fully functional sink. Let's go look. It has water and garbage disposal works. I also did a little bit of work in the primary bathroom back here. If you guys remember, the waterproofing paper we used for the shower was like extending on this wall too much. So I had to like cover it up with drywall mud. It's looking pretty good. I got to get the extra mud off the little metal piece right there. And that section right there has to dry and then I'll sand it down. But hopefully after all that is done, we'll be able to paint a little bit in here. Well, yeah, we'll probably have to paint. And then I can install the toilet. So I made some pretty good progress on the floor. I've actually ran out of flooring, so I've got to go back to Home Depot and buy, I don't know, at least like four or five more boxes, maybe. I cut this piece of wood here to fill in that gap over there, measured it, fits perfectly. I'm just going to paint it before I actually install it. So I made some nice progress today, but I'm not the only one that's made progress. If you look outside, all the dogs are outside and none of them are barking. Moses being super chill. Bino's being super chill. Milkshake is somewhere. I don't hear him, so that's good. Making progress, dog friends. Also, pretty interesting find. I went in that shed back there. I've been in there before. There's just like a bunch of like old construction materials, nothing really worth anything, but there was a golf bag in there with some old golf clubs. The, those clubs aren't worth anything, but this putter was in the bag. And this is a vintage, a Kushnet. Uh, a Kushnet, like, made in USA putter. This is the same company as Titleist. I don't know if a Kushnet owns Titleist or Titleist owns a Kushnet, but it's a little brass putter. Obviously, it's in terrible shape. The grip is, like, <laughs> like crumbling apart. It looks like lava or something, but uh, it's still cool. I can get, like, 10 bucks for it. Who knows? I know we didn't go see Haley at the yard sale, so here she is. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, what? How much money did we raise in the yard sale? $4,200, which is pretty on par for what our church usually does. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to give a huge shout-out to everybody. I actually did a whatnot auction giving. Uh, we did, like, eight things, and all the money was donated to the yard sale as well. We had got a tip as well. Um, we ended up raising, like, $800 through whatnot, and I just wanted to give a special shout-out for everybody who bought and tipped and just was there and like all of your encouragement you guys and all that money I, I don't know if you said it but all the money from the yard sale is going to Haley's Honduras mission trip yes, this summer sorry. So, yes. so yeah really so appreciate all of you guys so that pays for two Honduras houses which yeah. is incredible last night we decided to uh, do a little quick whatnot auction with all the stuff that I picked up at the flea market earlier in today's video well not everything Haley did list the uh, hokas that we got from Miss Petra those pink hokas uh, we listed those on eBay yesterday and they have actually sold last night uh, so we'll go over that eBay sale and we'll also look at everything that we sold on whatnot and how much money we made from today's relatively mediocre I'd say flea market haul so last night at whatnot we sold 25 items I believe again not everything from the flea market we had a couple things that I didn't sell at all like these Reebok shoes um, I thought like they were in good condition, just need a little cleaning, but the heel is kind of like messed up on this one. So I don't know. I decided not to sell those. This piano thing we got from that guy for 10 bucks. Uh, he kept saying it was brand new. It's definitely not used. Uh, new has got a Goodwill sticker on the charger and it doesn't work. We plugged it in, does not work. So maybe we should take it back to that guy and see if he'll give us our $10 back. But outside of those two things, we did sell 25 things. It was like... 300 and sorry Kim I'll be out of your way in just a second 316 dollars in sales and after fees we made 269.78 and then like I said Haley listed both the the pink pair of hokas we got from Miss Petra and the black Under Armour boots and those hokas already sold. already sold we got a very fair offer you list them for 55 yeah, yeah 55 because they're in very good condition minus some like bleach staining right here and mm -hmm. we got an offer for 50 which we accepted for sure 50 bucks on those very nice after and these are also listed and those had like a 100% sell through rate, yes. didn't they? Yes, yeah. 21 listed and 19 sold, I think. Yeah. So pretty good. Those have not sold yet. And after eBay fees on those shoes, we made this much money. I'll put a screenshot on the screen here of what we made after all that. So pretty good. Total spent today versus total money made already. I feel like there was some profit there. I don't know the numbers off the top of my head, but whatever it says on the screen here is what we did. I think I mentioned earlier that it is Masters week currently. It's Thursday of Masters and we actually had a Masters sale. We A very good sale. It's a it's a flask. It's a, um, was it Smathers and Branson? Like yeah. knitted 
flask. If you ever find anything Smathers and Branson, it is worth quite a lot of money. This one is like a needle point of Amen Corner, I mm -hmm. believe. Um, and this actually sold for like $103 plus shipping. We got that in a bundle deal from this guy. We bought several things from him, like some golf clubs and like um, the shoes and stuff. He, it's three or, four, three or four times we bought from him. Funko Pops, we got that in a big bundle deal. So I don't know exactly how much we have in it, but I, I think we spent between two and $300 on like 30 items in that time. So just one item, you know, selling over a hundred bucks, pretty good. And that's from last year too. All the master stuff is usually mm -hmm. dated. That's 2023. This one's actually not dated though, which oh, I think makes it worth more. Yeah. You know, it doesn't have 2023 on it or whatever. Yeah. So. Pretty cool. We don't have too many hundred dollar eBay sales these days, so it's nice. <laughs> it's nice to share well with you guys. Whenever we sell stuff and whatnot, it's always kind of a, a crapshoot. What stuff will sell for? Like stuff I think will sell well, sometimes does it, and sometimes things I don't think will sell for very much money actually do. Specifically speaking of those, um, the Star Wars action figures and the uh, Spider Man action figures we got from that one table. Um, I was ex we've sold a lot of those Star Wars figures in the past on whatnot. Like we have a bunch of them left over from our Disney haul. Like, the same general types, just different characters. And these usually sell for 10 to $15. So I thought, you know, maybe we'll double up on those. But since the Spider-Man figures were both vintage, like one was 1994 and one was 1997, I think, I thought those would do pretty well, like $20, $20 or more. Um, one of them, like the one that was not Spider-Man, it was like Daredevil or something, but a Spider-Man theme, that one only sold for like $8, I think. Uh, and then the other Spider-Man one sold for like 22 or something. So not bad, but I just thought, hey, a new inbox Spider-Man figure that's from 1994 should probably sell pretty well. But funny enough, the Transformers gift card that it was just like a throw-in item at the end, I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. It's a gift card that looks like a little Transformer robot. That sold for like $17. So I was like, wow. That's something that I expected that to sell for three bucks or three or three to five dollars or whatever. So that one did really well. The other stuff didn't do so well. So overall, it was good. We sold everything. We don't have to list anything. I will add, we did not sell that to me backpack yet. I am going to send that to our old neighbor, the seamstress, to get it fixed up. And we'll keep you guys updated on that in a future YouTube video. We don't have to you know, put it in our in our storage over here minus for a year. <laughs> yeah, minus we did list the shoes. Um, but that was worth it. Hoke is already sold and those Under Armour boots should sell pretty quickly. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I think we'll go ahead and wrap it up. Really appreciate your time. Thank you again. And we'll catch you on the next one.